relax your mind. Relax your body. Don't get too relaxed. Don't become so relaxed that you lose your focus. You do need to stay focused. This is not a game, per se. That's not true. It is a game. You are playing a game. There's no need to worry about the outcome. Your nemesis isn't worried about the outcome. Your nemesis is probably playing this game right now, completely unworried. Think about your family. What would they think of your performance? Think about your career. What if this were your job? if you had to play this game all day long and received compensation in return. What would that be worth to you? Sometimes it's better to let go but not always. Actually, usually it's better to pay attention. If you stop paying attention, you will get careless. If you get careless, you might lapse things up. So, pay attention. Always. job you're doing. Are you kidding me? Is this the first time you played? It seems as though you have played this game thousands of times before based on how well you're doing. Unless I'm misinterpreting what's happening here. It could be blind luck. You are feeling comfortable. You are satisfied with your performance. In spite of everything, all of the things that people are saying about you and your performance and how bad it is, are perfectly satisfied. Who needs them? Not you. That's for sure. You don't need anything. You are perfectly comfortable the way things are going. You could get by merely with what you have right now. No additional things are required by you. Sit back and coast. You've done enough.
disagree with me. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. I'm not saying anything. I'm just stating a fact. You cannot argue with facts. And you should not argue with me. I am trying to help you. I can't believe you don't see that. Please do not cheat. It would not be fair to the other people who are playing this game. Internet is a strange place. Code can be examined. Inner workings can be determined. But please, do not cheat. It would not be right. Sometimes it's hard even for me to maintain focus when I'm watching a player who is so dull. No offense. Artificial Heart Program, part number 19, Program Initiation Assistance. Part 1. Getting Started Guide If you are creating an unboxing video, you may begin recording now, or else pause this message to set up cameras and appropriate lighting rings. Congratulations, Level 4 participants, and welcome to the Jonathan Colton Artificial Heart Program. The fact that you are listening to this message indicates that you are skilled at following both written and diagrammatic instructions. You are doing great. So congratulations for that as well. In front of you is a box containing a collection of materials, all of them custom designed to assist you in overcoming your specific shortcomings. While you are no doubt eager to begin using them, it is essential that you proceed slowly and carefully according to the specific instructions in this message. Please do not share these materials with anyone. In particular, do not share them with anyone who failed to qualify for Level 4 participation. These materials may affect even qualified individuals in profound and disastrous ways. Just be responsible. Before touching anything, please begin by putting on the archival gloves that you no doubt discovered when you first opened the box with your filthy, filthy hands. These gloves will protect the materials, and you, from corruption. You should always use them when handling the materials. Underneath the archival gloves, you will find a panel with a diagrammatic representation of the contents of this box. You may refer to it while you listen to and follow these instructions. Lift the panel to expose the large and sleeved, yellow grooved circular object known as the Artificial Heart Vinyl Edition. This object is a manifestation of outdated technology, and as such, is no longer relevant to our purposes. Discard it. 
You should now see several foam compartments containing various objects. You have already successfully deployed part number 19, the Program Initiation Assistant. And again, congratulations. This device is encoded with audio information that is even now assisting you. When these instructions have ended, you will have the option of listening to additional digital audio materials. For your own safety, please do not skip ahead at this time. It is likely that you are also already employing the enclosed listening device, colloquially known as earbuds. This listening device was made in China for as little money as possible and is probably garbage. It has no part number. Immediately to the right of your program initiation assistant, you will find part number 449, the algorithmic decision mechanism. Do not touch it. Instead, locate part number 613, the graphic textual retention site, found in the bottom right compartment of your box. Remove it and the accompanying writing device from the compartment. We will use these items to calibrate your algorithmic decision mechanism. Jonathan Colton, Artificial Heart Program, Part Number 19, Program Initiation Assistant, Part 2, Calibration Instructions. The Algorithmic Decision Mechanism, or ADM, is a sensitive device and should not be deployed until proper calibration has been achieved. Begin by holding the ADM in your gloved hand. Toss it lightly into the air making sure that it tumbles end over end, laterally, across its face. When it descends, catch it. Observe the side that is now facing you, and note the displayed diagnostic symbols. Record these symbols on line one of the first page of your graphic textual retention site, or GTRS. This is calibration vector zero. Continue by tossing the ADM again, and recording the resultant diagnostic symbols on line 2 of page 1 of your GTRS. This is calibration vector 1. Continue to continue by repeating this procedure, each time increasing the calibration vector by 1. Stop when you have recorded the 10th calibration vector, which will be numbered 9. While you are collecting and recording these calibration vectors, Please enjoy the following digital audio material. You should now have collected all ten calibration vectors. You may have noticed that the ADM has only two sides, and thus only two possible diagnostic symbol displays. Draw each of these diagnostic symbol sets next to each other on the top of page two of your GTRS. Count the number of times each set of diagnostic symbols appears in your set of calibration vectors and then write that total under its respective diagnostic symbol set. Divide each of these totals by 5 and record the two resulting numbers under the appropriate totals in the previous step. Circle them. Each ADM outcome should now have its own distinct calibration offset multiplier. If so, congratulations. Your algorithmic decision mechanism has been successfully calibrated. You may now use it to assist in the decision-making process. Just be sure to apply the calibration offset multiplier before determining the true results.
From time to time, you may want to repeat the calibration process, especially if you find the ADM is leading you to make poor decisions. Jonathan Colton, Artificial Heart Program, Part Number 19, Program Initiation Assistant. Part 3, Additional Materials. You have already explored Part Number 19, the Program Initiation Assistant. Part number 449, the algorithmic decision mechanism. And part number 613, the graphic textual retention site. There follows an overview of the remaining materials. To the right of your algorithmic decision mechanism, you will find a compartment containing part number 337, the nostalgia device. Simply turn the key and release to generate nostalgic audio material. Deploy this device anytime you find yourself feeling anxious or uncomfortable about the new experiences and or challenges associated with this program. Believe it or not, many people find change to be a source of great anxiety. Rest assured, the nostalgia device will immerse you in the warm, soapy tub of past success <laughs> until you feel refreshed and ready to face the future. Along the topmost edge of the box, there is a compartment containing a tubular object made of paper. It is part number 19, the Oral Visual Reference Plan. You may post this item to your wall and refer to it whenever you need to refer to it. You may find that it makes more sense after more extensive participation in the program, or after you have turned 40. In the bottom left quadrant of your box, you will find part number one, the Artificial Heart CD containing digital audio materials. You may listen to these digital audio materials whenever you feel ready, but please make sure you have your nostalgia device on hand in case of emergencies. Stick with it. Many participants report that the effects of these audio materials are enhanced by repeated listening. In the bottom right quadrant of your box, you will find an assortment of items, many of them sticky. You may use these items in a number of ways, depending on your mood. Perhaps you want to declare your current state of mind to the world. Or perhaps you want to remind yourself of a particularly significant diagnostic process or encoding. Remember, all things are valuable, and these are just a few of them. Beneath the foam insert of your box, you will find three wearable items. You should only deploy these items on your own body once you have a comfortable grasp of the meaning and significance of their content. This may take some study and possibly some difficult moments of honest introspection. Or, if you like red better than black, perhaps your choice will be obvious. One final note about your program initiation assistant. This device contains additional audio materials, which you may listen to shortly, if you wish. In addition, this device may be wiped clean and reused by means of the ancillary USB connector and a standard computing device. For boring and frustrating licensing reasons, this device only supports playback of the AUG format which you will no doubt find useless outside the context of this particular device. For this reason, you will find, in the compartment containing assorted sticky objects, a card with a download code. All of these audio materials have been made available to you for download via this code in a number of formats, so that you may construct your own evolving program to suit your own. This download code also provides access to additional bonus materials that are not included on this device. Simply follow the instructions on the card. This concludes the Program Initiation Assistant program. Our sincerest thanks to you for your patience, support, and most of all, your open-minded embrace of the unknown. It has been a great pleasure preparing these materials for you. We trust that you are feeling better already. You may begin.
thing is 